The presence of dangerous cancer-causing chemicals known as PFAS, or so-called forever chemicals, have been located in more Granite State communities from drinking water to soil. Our neighbors in Maine have a first-in-the-country ban of products containing PFAS that will be taking effect in January, should the federal government ban the use of PFAS in all U.S. manufacturing. Congresswoman, you first. Well, this is an issue I've been working on. Uh, we have a PFAS working group that's bipartisan, and we're tackling that issue. And I want to thank, actually, the people here in New Hampshire who have been such vocal critics and have been such great advocates on this issue. We need to rid our country of these forever chemicals. I have legislation that would ban the future use of PFAS chemicals so that we don't add to the problem that we already had. So yes, my answer is yes. And Mr. Burns? Yeah, absolutely. But we need to go beyond that. We need to make sure that the countries that we're dealing with also don't use these dangerous chemicals in their processes and dumping them into the water. Because as you say, they're a forever chemical. They're ending up in the same water that, that we're drinking. They're, they're killing the same rivers. They're killing the same fish. You know, I've been criticized actually multiple times for how much I bring up fish here for some reason, but it is something that's close to my heart is, is, is our lakes, our rivers, our oceans. I'm an avid fisherman. You know, obviously we've always been concerned about mercury in the past and no, nobody wants this sort of stuff in their drinking water, in their food, in their oceans, in their streams and lakes. Um, I think that's something that we all agree on, but at the same time, we need to hold other countries responsible as well.